Good morning, everyone. My name is Tammy Sadler-Jones. I'm the city administrator, and I'd like to call to order the License and Variance Board meeting at 10 o'clock a.m. on Wednesday, August 9th, 2017. Board members present, to my left is Roy Acri, the fire chief, and to his left is Scott Stokes, the director of public works. Heather Pekin Corn is the deputy <coughs> city clerk, and she will be taking the official meeting minutes. First item is a public hearing Privilege license request LIC 2017-17 beer wine package 4330 East West Connector SF Markets LLC DBA Sprouts Farmers Market number 518 Billy Charles Jones the second is the agent and Mr. Jones here. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mike Sard from Sard and Left Attorneys. Okay. All right. And for the record, can you state your name, please? Uh, Billy Charles Jones II. Okay, all right. And um, have you received a copy of the city's alcohol beverage ordinance? Yes. Okay, and have you read it and do you understand it? Yes. Okay, and do you agree to abide by the guidelines set forth in the ordinance? Absolutely. And uh, you have completed the responsible alcohol sales class? Yes. All right, and what steps do you have in place to prevent the sale of alcohol um, to underage persons at your store? Uh, we have our Sprouts alcohol sales training program. Uh, we have obviously our training for that and then our <coughs> point of sale to require a valid date of birth to sell the alcohol to and we participate in the bars program. Okay. Any questions for the applicant? Uh, Mr. Jones, can you describe your, your role uh, with the organization? Um, I'm the grocery beer and wine trainer for this one particular location, or is it more of a regional? It's a regional role, but I do spend time at the location. Okay. What, what are your hours, or what, what, how much time do you spend at this particular location? I'd say that particular location, probably around five hours a week. And are, are you currently the registered agent for any other Sprouts location? I am. How many? I think the current count is eight. And others have less of a requirement of uh, of being present. Right. Okay. Do you understand that from time to time the Smyrna Police Department does undercover um, investigations and if any of your employees sell alcohol to underage persons that they will be taken to jail immediately? That's perfectly fine. Okay. All right. Yeah. Any other questions for the applicant? Um, the Smyrna Police Department did do a background investigation and there was no information that would preclude issuance of this particular license. So with that said, this is a public hearing. If anyone else would like to speak regarding this issue, I ask that you please step to the podium at this time. All right, seeing no one, I'd like to entertain a motion, please. Motion to approve privilege license request LIC 2017-17 beer wine package 4330 East West Connector SF Markets LLC DBA Sprouts Farmers Market number 518 with Billy Charles Jones II as the agent. Second. It's been motioned and properly second that we approve privilege license request LIC 2017-17. All in favor please vote. All right, motion passes unanimously. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Next item is appeal of the denial of an alcohol permit for Sean Michael Gatewood. And at this time, I'll turn it over to Jeffrey Tucker, our assistant city attorney. Thank you, Ms. Sadler-Jones. If I could get Marla from the police department and Mr. Gatewood to step up here, please. Um, so let me, I'm gonna swear you both in uh, and then we'll ask Marla some questions first, and then then you can ask Marla questions if you want, uh, or say whatever you want to board, and I'll have some questions for you. So please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you give in this matter shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Mm -hmm. I do. All right, if you'll just sit down right there for a second. So Marla, if you'll step up, and you've done this many times for the board, but uh, please state your name. Uh, Marla gerber Ridless. And uh, are you employed with the city of Smyrna? Yes, I am. Now, what do you do at the city? I do the permit office over at the police department. Here, so speak speak more, more directly into that. Okay. Um, 
I work the permit office over at the police department. So at the police department, when somebody comes in to apply for an alcohol server permit, what's your, they, they consent, is this correct, to you running their criminal background through the system known as GCIC, is that correct? That's correct. So then what, what do you, they consent to that, and what do you do? And then I run their background. And then you, you let them know if there's anything that shows up in there that would preclude the issuance of an alcohol server permit to them, is that right? Correct. All right, and so uh, Mr. Gatewood here came in and applied for an alcohol server permit. You ran GCIC, and uh, what did the report show for him? Um, that he had, uh, he was guilty of a DUI in July of 2016 in Hiram, Georgia, and he had a pending case with Marietta from February 6th of this year. And so with two um, DUIs showing on his record under the city ordinance, so that the two DUIs being within the last five years, even though they're misdemeanors under the city's ordinance, that requires his uh, application for an alcohol server permit to be denied. Is that correct? Correct. So it's three years. Three, uh, sorry, three years. So, so you, you let him know that that was, uh, that it was denied. Correct. And then he, he appealed it to this board. Is that right? Yes. Um, on the first, the first of the charge conviction, uh, the church of the charged offenses, when was that? July um, of 2016. And that, that um, charged offense shows a disposition, is that correct? Well, actually, the charge was um, on 4 14 16, I think the disposition was the. Right, the, di the disposition according the to GCIC seven. is July the 7th right. of last year, is that right? Correct. And uh, what, what did it show as the sentence given over in Hiram Court? Uh, probation for one year. And? And a fine of um, $1,100. I believe that's $1,100 and 20, $1,120 uh, $1 <laughs> I think. They're, they just make up numbers over at Hiram Municipal Court apparently. Um, they must have been $20 short on something that day over in Hiram. Um, and, then the, and then in the next cycle of offenses, the, what was the date on that? This is, the, um, I want Cycle two or three? The, in three. cycle three, okay. which is from the Cobb County Police Department. That arrest date was 2-6-2017. Uh, 2 6 meaning February the 6th of this year. Right? Correct. So that, that would have been within the one year probation period from Hiram, is that right? Correct. Okay. Uh, I don't have any more questions for you, Marla. Uh, if we have questions from the board, we'll have them now. I had one quick question for, uh, for Marla, for About either one of you. Just for the sake of the record, did the applicant disclose the two offenses you have just discussed on his application? Yes, he did. Okay. Yeah, they were properly disclosed, including their dates. Okay. So. Um, if I can get Mr. Gatewood to step up here. Mr. Gatewood, is there anything you want to correct in anything either Marla said or that I've said? Thus far, no, sir. Okay, so um, <clears throat> just to reiterate for them, you had a DUI out in Paulding County, I guess, in, must have been April of yeah. last year that you then went to court over there in July. They gave you 12 months probation and a fine of $1,100 and change. Uh, and then you were, you had a second uh, charge, this time here in Cobb County, back in February. Has that gone into the court system, or have you had a hearing on that, or where does it stand? Because that doesn't show in our report. Thus far, it's just been postponed until I think my next court date is actually in two weeks. Okay. So for now, it's just pending. So, so you still have a pending charge. Is it, have you, the, all that showed on here, just to get this clear, is the misdemeanor D, I'm talking about Cobb County, the misdemeanor DUI itself, are, have, have they talked to you about the fact that this came within your probationary period? No, not uh, officially. Okay, all right. That's just something that's I recognize. All right, so, um, and so uh, where, are you, where are you applying, where are you gonna work if you get your alcohol server permit? As of now, well, I was currently employed with Zuka and Taqueria right here at the Smyrna Market Village. Um, not 100% sure if I'm going to stay there just because I need to make a few changes, kind of get myself away from this industry. Um, but for now, that's going to be my current place of employment. Okay. Uh, I don't have any more questions for Mr. Gatewood. Let's take some from the board members. 
Does um, the management at Zuka and Taqueria know that you're before this board today? Yes, okay. the owner and the general manager both know. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Gatewood, to the best of your memory, with, with the, the charge, the DUI charge from 2016, you went to court in, in July of 16 and you were given 12 months probation. Correct. So do you recall any any term within the condition uh, of your probation that um, um, that says you can't do this again uh, yes. as, within the 12 months? Yes. So if my math is right, the within that 12-month probation, um, you had another charge. Uh, yes, sir. DUI here at Cobb yeah. County. Um, so have you, if, if, I guess my question is, if your, if your probation term was for 12 months that began in July of last year, then that 12 months has expired. Have you, has, has anything happened? I realize that, that Mr. Tucker just kind of asked you, but it seems to me that, that, that there's a potential impact on your, your, your probation sentence from 2016, given that, that during that time you got another DUI. Have you received no communication whatsoever about um, that? Well, I, the day I actually got out of jail, I went straight to my probation officer's, officer's um, office, explained everything that happened, you know, filled him on everything, and he said that we'll just deal with it when the time comes. As far as repercussions, there weren't any. Um, even my lawyer said that there probably should have been, but for whatever reason, there was no extra repercussions or nothing extra. So to given do. that the, the original 12 months has passed, have you received any type of, of notification that you've successfully completed your, your original 12 months of probation? Not officially, no. Um, when I last spoke to my probation officer, I believe it was the 2nd of last month, he told me that July 31st, or last day in July, would be my official last day on probation. Um, it was just for the last month. I didn't have to actually come check in or pay anything because I had completed everything. So he said, just wait until the 31st, and then probation will be completely done from there. Okay. So, um, can you talk to us about, I mean, it seems like that, that you know, that, that you've, you've made a couple decisions that, that you probably shouldn't have made. Clearly, yes. So, I think that, that, that it, it, would, it would be in your best interest to explain to this board how or whether or not that's changed. You know, what, you know, what are you doing to, to, to make a turn for the better and to correct these mistakes and move forward? Well, for short-term goals, um, being that I'm currently still at the same place because that's my only source of income at the time, um, I've actually spoken with the managers and asked them to remove me from bartending and just serve so that way I'm a little further away from the problem, so to say. Um, certain days I don't want to work. I've already explained this to them just because there's a higher chance of actually being exposed to it. Um, and as well, I've also had to talk with Tim, the owner, and told him that we probably should implement a little stronger or enforce a little stronger rules when it comes to bartenders and drinking, even though behind the bar, of course, by law, it's illegal. But they haven't been as strict as they should be. So, you know, we kind of have free reign to take advantage of it or, you know, something like that. Um, so, yeah, so for right now, I've removed myself or tried to put myself a little further away from the actual alcohol or the problem, so to say. Um, and like I said, I'm actually looking for a career change to get out of the industry altogether. But, you know, ultimately, um, the correction lies within you. Oh, yes, definitely, definitely. Right? I mean, I, I don't disagree with, you know, the, 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 the problem isn't with your profession. Well, correct, definitely The problem not. is with personal choices. Well, that also comes, I've been speaking with my lawyer, Rich, and we've been talking about um, before we even go to court, if there's anything I need to do as far as AA or drug counseling or anything like that, even though I'm sure that would be a condition of the probation. Um, we've been talking just amongst ourselves to see if maybe I should do something a little more intense or you know a little more prolonged versus what the state recommends. So that's something we are working on currently. So Mr. Gatewood, my question to you is why, tell, explain to us why we should overturn the appeal. Well, again, currently at this time, this is my only source of income. Um, and, and again, I have been looking for other places of employment, but for now, this is what I have to fall back on to be able to pay the probation and the lawyer fees and these things. How, when did you start employment at Zuka? It was March of 2015, I believe it was. Okay, 
So you, you've held an alcohol service permit before. Yes, sir. You currently hold one. Um, it's actually expired as of now. When did it expire? I believe a month ago it actually expired. So you've been working without it for a month? I actually have not been on the schedule since then. I've just been kind of job hunting unemployed, so to say, for the past month. Uh, these DUIs, say the one in uh, the one in Paulding County, was it the DUI strictly for drinking or was it for drugs? Strictly for drinking. What about the last one you just received? Same, strictly for drinking. When was the last time you had a drink? Oh, it's been a couple of weeks, being that I've been unemployed and nothing to do but job hunts, trying to stay in the house and stay away from it. So it's been a few weeks. Okay. Any uh, closing comments you want to make to the board? No, ma'am, not at this time. Okay. At this time, I'd entertain a motion. I would like a motion to approve the issuance of an alcohol permit for Sean Michael uh, Gatewood. Second. It's been motioned and properly second that we approve the alcohol permit for Mr. Sean Michael Gatewood. All in favor, please vote. All right, thank you, Mr. Gatewood. Yes, Mr. Gatewood, just a final comment. This board um, just gambled on you, took a chance on you. Um, I hope that you do that for yourself. I hope that you uh, decide that you don't. can put these, these, these types of decisions behind you and move forward in a positive way. I do appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right. And I'll probably see some of y'all at lunch. By the well, you right. see me at the corner taqueria <laughs> all the time, so I'm going to be expecting for you to do the right thing. I promise you. Yeah, please. Please, please. Please do, because you've been... You, you've you've gotten lucky with misdemeanor charges up to now, but r repeated offenses. If you're sitting in jail somewhere, you're not going to be serving anything to anybody. So, well, I'd like to be. <laughs> Good luck, sir. Right, thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm. Next item is approval of the minutes from the July 26, 2017 meeting of the License and Variance Board. Motion to approve the minutes from July 26, 2017 meeting of the License and Variance Board. Second. It's been motioned and properly second that we approve the meeting minutes from the July 26, 2017 meeting of the License and Variance Board. All in favor, please vote. Motion passes unanimously, and I'd like to declare this meeting adjourned at 10.18 a.m. Thank you. <laughs>